In World War I, the youthful Hercule Poirot devises a strategy to help the Allied forces reclaim land against the Central Powers, still he's unfit to stop his captain's death from a booby trap, which mutilates Poirot's face. He's tended to by his nut, Nanny Catherine, who encourages him to grow his mustache to hide his scars. In 1937, Poirot enters a club where jazz songster Salome Otterborn is performing. He substantiations Jacqueline, Jackie, de Belfort introduce her fiancé Simon Doyle to her nonage friend, descendant Lynette Ridgway, to offer him employment. Lynette hires Simon on the spot, and sparks fly between the two to Jackie's discomfort. Six weeks latterly, Poirot is holidaying in Egypt when he encounters his friend Book and meets his mama Euphemia, a famed painter. Book introduces Poirot to his musketeers Linnet and Simon, who have married and are celebrating their honeymoon. The honeymoon is joined by several guests Linnet's longtime maid Louise Beauget, Salome, Salome's bastard and director and Linnet's old classmate Rosalie, Linnet's socialist, leaning godmother Marie Van Schuyler, Van Schuyler's nanny Mrs. Bowers, Linnet's kinsman Andrew Kachadurian, who's in charge of Linnet's will, and Croker. Linus Windlesham, who had been engaged to Linnet before she left him for Simon. Linnet and Simon request protection from Poirot as Jackie has followed them there, having come an compulsive snooper wanting to win Simon back after their engagement fell piecemeal. Asking to escape from Jackie but not wanting to disrupt their honeymoon, the couple conclude to board the voyages.s. Karnak with their guests. Still, Linnet admits to Poirot that she's paranoid and doesn't trust her guests. During a layover at the Abu Simbel, Book confesses to Poirot that he's dating Rosalie, despite Euphemia's disapprobation. Poirot gives him his blessing, while Book encourages him to find love. Poirot begins showing interest towards the attractive Salome. Linnet and Simon hardly shirk a collapsing boulder, and after escaping a sandstorm, the guests return to the Karnak only to find Jackie had also boarded. Linnet and Simon decide to leave the following morning and partake a final farewell with Poirot. An enraptured Poirot encounters Jackie, who's still adamant in wanting to win back Simon. Poirot shares to her that he was supposed to be with Catherine after the war ended, but she failed from a mortar explosion, which led to Poirot closing himself to romantic passions. While Linnet leaves to sleep for the night, Simon confronts and insults Jackie, egging her to artificially shoot at his leg ahead incontinently feeling guilt and remonstrating her gun down. Book and Rosalie bring Jackie to be tended by Mrs. Bowers, while Windlesham tends to Simon's crack. Louise finds Linnet shot in the head the following morning and her precious jewel choker stolen. Poirot, joined by Simon and Book, begin interrogating the guests and unravel possible provocations. Jackie is ruled out as the killer due to being covered by Bowers all night. Louise was supposed to leave Linnet's employment after getting wedded, but Linnet strongly ended her engagement to keep her as her menial. Windlesham is revealed to be part of an aristocratic family, but has given up his honor to help people as a croaker. Bowers was also from a fat family but she and her workers were evicted of their lands because of Linnet's parents. Poirot deduces that she isn't Van Schuyler's maid, but her nut. Andrew had nearly let Linnet subscribe a reworked contract that would have embezzled her, had it not been for Rosalie's intervention. He also possesses a larger gun. Salome has a gun analogous to Jackie's in her headgear. Euphemia spots Linnet's choker among her things and reports it to Poirot, who begins suspecting her as well. Jackie's gun, the murder armament, is ultimately set up wrapped with Van Schuyler's missing scarf and missing two pellets. Poirot gathers Book, Euphemia, Salome, and Rosalie, and reveals that he was hired by Euphemia to asset on Rosalie to see if she's a suitable love for Book. Despite Poirot's blessing, Euphemia still denies to give them her blessing to Book's torture, while Rosalie berates Poirot for deceiving them. Louise is set up dead in the water wheel, with her throat tear and plutocrat set up among her things. 
As pressure raises high among the guests, Poirot sees the shape of a possible substantiation near blood splatter from Louise's murder. Poirot and Simon interrogate Book, who's bewildered at his own friend suspecting him. Poirot deduces that Book had formerly set up Linnet dead, he stole her jewel choker and placed it in his mama's things to interlace her for stealing, therefore giving him and Rosalie freedom from her. He also witnessed Louise exacting plutocrat from the killer before she was killed herself, and threw his fleece in the swash as it was carpeted in Louise's blood. Before he could reveal the killer, Book is assassinated from hence, Poirot chases after the killer and fails to catch them, only chancing Andrew's gun left before. Motivated by the death of his closest friend, he and the crew of the Karnak lock the surviving guests in the boat's bar, having answered the murder. Poirot gets Andrew to confess that he'd thrown the boulder at Simon and Linnet as an act of despair, but he's adamant that he wasn't the killer. Poirot reveals that Simon is Linnet's killer, with Jackie as the architect. They're still suckers, as they arranged Simon's love with Linnet so Simon would inherit her wealth once she's killed. Having pretended to shoot Simon, she managed to distract Book and Rosalie, while Simon used makeup stolen from Euphemia to fake his injury. He used the short quantum of time to kill Linnet, with Louise witnessing it and also shot himself in the leg with Van Schuyler's scarf as a silencer in time for Windlesham to arrive. Simon latterly disposed of the murder armament, while Jackie latterly killed Louise and Book. Engaged in a standoff with Poirot and Salome, Simon attempts to escape with Jackie, but Jackie, knowing there's no escape for them, shoots through both of them, killing the two suckers. The passengers disembark with Salome admitting that she was interested in Poirot before he showed his cold personality in his work. In London, a clean divested Poirot visits Salome's jazz club to watch her perform. If you enjoyed this video please like it shares it and subscribes this channel Hollywood Net HD for new and best Hollywood movies summary and upcoming movies trailers.